Good morning everyone, welcome to today's video and in today's video you're with Rowan and Eden. She's just dropped the line into the water for the first time today. We are right now experiencing the sunrise. We've just made it in time after a three and a half hour drive and we are at the Glomar Shoals off of Karatha. So these shoals are about 130 kilometers from the mainland of Australia and to put it into context there's no land within 100 kilometers of us right now for safe refuge and we've taken our 17 foot boat out here solo and to put that into context this is how much fuel we've taken out as spare so we're running one two three four five six seven eight jerry cans over there We've just got the sunrise starting to crack behind us here and Eden's just getting her line into the bottom now. So this is all completely new ground. We've never fished it before. We are gonna set then probably to about 3 p.m. out here today and then it'll be about a three hour drive back home this afternoon. Whee! So we found some good ground straight away. So we'll see what Eden's first fish is. It's gonna take me about 10 minutes to wind it up. So. Oh, it's big. That's good. Oh, get it. I'm getting it. Hell yeah. How good of a sunrise is that? First drop. So it feels like a lifetime since we've made it out deep into the water and actually done it for the sunrise, that very first crack of dawn. So to be here today and time it so perfectly, after 130 kilometers, we're pretty happy with that. It was a 2 a.m. start for us this morning, got the alarm clocks up on the water by three o'clock and we're here now for sunrise. And Eden's about to bring up her first fish. It's looking a lot smaller now, like it's got barrage drama. Oh, big long nose. That's something new? Yeah. Here, I can I'll net this one. Long nose emperor here. Cool. Right, Eden will hold that up with the jig in it. Do you eat those? Yeah, they're good eating. We'll keep that one to give it a crack. That's our first ever long nose, that one. Awesome. Cool. So first fish of the day. And we wanted to catch something new, a new species, and we've done it on first drop, so I'm so excited to see what else we get. Long nose emperor, this one. If you can't tell what gives it away. There's the sunrise coming up there. There's the sounder at the minute, 45 metres of water. All right, so we'll chuck that one away. We're definitely gonna give that one a taste test. We've never kept one, but they're rated as pretty good eating. Got a beautiful sunrise there, starting to lighten up the day, making it good for the camera. I'm gonna get a bait, uh, yeah, a hybrid rigged up just like Eden had there. We've got the electric reel over here as well sport today so it's all happening I'll get geared up now get the GoPro on my chest we'll get down in the water and see what we can catch oh that didn't even let me get to the bottom which oh, be a sign of something interesting it doesn't feel massive though Oh no, what's going on? Oh. Really for sharks? Barracuda. True. Eden's just got a barracuda there. Probably won't even keep him for bait. I don't want him in the boat. They stink and they're slimy, but we'll let him go. He's lucky day. Fish number two. Oh, 
one again here for the third drop. Feels less barracuda -y than the other one. Which is good. It's given up, whatever it is. A cod. <laughs> Rock cod. Didn't come all this way for frostback. No. So here's my rig that I'm going to be dropping down with first thing today. Got a 250 gram hybrid with a triple assist, and Eden's just pulled up a nice little frostback cod, which we've stripped up into the bay, and that'll be going down. And we're in 40 meters of water right now on top of the shoal, and we'll see what we can get. On, but it's tiny, not massive. Oh, that's, that's a good looking lump there. Good, good bit of fish on. I've got something oh. on here, but it's not massive. I got snipped. Oh, no. Well, that was my first drop, and I got snipped on the way down, so didn't even hit the bottom, and I lost that jig. Oh, hey, coral trout and. Baby Emperor. Okay, so we're just drifting out in the open right now. We'll just give you a closer look at this one while Eden's just pulled in. So, that's actually a job fish, that one, is it? Or is it? Oh, no, it's an Emperor. Yep. But here, she's just pulled in a common trout, which we don't actually see a lot of common trout around Karatha, they're generally all bar cheeks, but once you get offshore, the commons start to pop up a bit more. So we can actually keep that one because he's his own individual species. And we can end up with bar cheeks as well. Yeah, that's big. That's what we came out here for. Go Eden. Hopefully the first red. It's a strong fish. Oh no, it might have... That could be a shark now. Mm. It could either be a shark or like a massive cod or something, but... It's up off the bottom. It's a shark. Or a horse chinaman. Just give you guys a quick look here. 42 meters. So you can see it's come up off the bottom. And then something's grabbed it, so Eden's in a bit of trouble there. Swimming in an outwards direction away from the boat. Okay, I'm looking at these two fish right here, sitting off the bottom, six metres. Oh, gone. Eden just got done. Let's see if I can drop my bait in front of those two fish I'm looking at. Well, we were bound to get a shark. Man, there's some. All right. All right, this is gonna get gobbled up straight away. Oh, damn it! I don't want something small. Oh, that shark! Or is it? No, that. Go on. Oh, oh yeah, that's shark. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Another hybrid gone. I'll be going to bait pretty soon after this once we get through our jigs. Yeah, we're just gonna have one more drop on this bit of ground where we just got sharked because there's some really good fish showing down there. So it does seem to be the problem where there's good fish, there's also nice big sharks trying to get them. But we've just re-rigged new hybrids again, so we'll drop down and see if we can pull something good up this time. Between the two of us, one of us should get a fish and one of us should get sharked. Hopefully, or hopefully this boat's a really good fish. Mm. Well, you're 
yours is very light. Bites. Oh, all right. Go on. Oh, no, you're oh. oh, that's a good fish. All right, I've got a good fish here. Oh, so do I. Oh, worry about that after. All right, we're both on oh, good fish here. Hopefully, there's... I'm not getting shark right now. I feel something suspicious, but... Oh, that feels a lot like a shark. Yeah. You keep the shark busy. Coming into play. But it may not be. Oh. Get up higher. Oh, don't. Oh, no. No, that's not good. Oh, bugger. We'll see what Aiden's got. Oh, I've got Golden Trevally. Aiden's got a lot of. Aiden's got another long nose. It's viewing. Yeah, we'll put him away. Shark. I can, can have the trevally for a while, okay. Yeah. Woohoo! Hey, Okay, so we're just gonna try the other long nose, but this one here, he gets to live another day, so. He should swim back pretty freely, this one. All going well. Off he goes. Back to the bottom. Must be a shark. Go on. I bet not. It's on the top of the water over here. Or if it's gonna be a spinner shark. Looks. Could be anything. Could be anything at this stage. Looks cobra ish. Cobia ish. What is that? Bring it around. Yeah, cobia. the prop. Well, it's actually off anyway. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to release this guy once we got him, probably. Unless Eden wants him, but... No, he can go back. Oh. Damn it. There goes another nice expensive jig. Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to lift up the trolling motor and we're going to move on out of here. So the spot we just pulled up to then to pull up the long nose emperor and the common trout that we've kept. This first spot was just literally on the way we wanted to drop on the crack of dawn when the sun came up and secure a couple of fish that way. So we've got a couple of fish in the bag now. So now we're actually going to go scout some ground. Got the electric rod and reel behind me. We can use that one when we sort of go out to the 80 metre range. While we're still in the 40 metres for the next few fish, we will just stick to jigging on the hybrids and on the spin reels and the overheads. So we're gonna move now, go find a couple more fish, and yeah, we'll show you the spots that we pull up on and show you what we're reading on the sound up.
All right, I just thought I'd whack a uh, lure in because we saw a heap of small tuna getting around there. Oh, I might have, I might be a little bit underpowered here to, to whatever I've hooked up on. We saw a heap of small tuna and I thought, maybe I'll get one of these small tuna. I'm just gonna kill the outboard here. And uh, it turns out whatever's grabbed it isn't a small tuna. At least I don't believe so anyway. Let's see what we got here. Starting with a bit of line back now. I'm not that much into fishing for pelagics and stuff, but when they're around and they're obvious, I'm a very light gear here, so I'm gonna take my time. But that didn't take long at all. Well, it might just be a little tuna, right? Let's see what type of tuna it is. Oh, a max tuna as well, so not what we want. We'll let this guy go. Always fun to see what's about though. Yeah, I'm on with something small too. So we've got past everything in the column down to the bottom, but just the small fish that have got us here. Whatever I've got actually has a little bit of weight, but it's fighting like a wet sock. So we'll see what this one is. I definitely can't call this one. I just know that it's not a trevally. It's another red throat. Yep. Small red throat emperor. So these guys are obviously going to be in large numbers out here. They're a delicious eating fish, but they're only small and they're going to count towards our bag limit. So he can go back. Fish anyways, I'm not too bothered. But it's a big shark. Oh. There we go. That's good. That's a shark as well. Damn it. Never stop from that guy. I don't know though, it's because it's only a um. My jig. I don't really have my hooks aren't that long, so you'd think it was a shark to bite me off pretty quickly. But oh, there you go. So we've got another long nose emperor there. That's the third one for today. We've only kept one and I think probably put this guy back as well. We're trying to get something a bit new, a bit tastier. Oh! 
Yep, that's a, that's a, I reckon that's a good trout. I reckon that's a good trout. Oh no. Oh, I got sharks. Fuck, there's good fish down there, just so you guys can see all the arches there. Oh, no way. Damn it. Right, so the situation right now is that we've been burning up fuel for probably the last three hours since we caught those first couple of decent fish. And we've been finding patches, but every good patch that we find anywhere along the shoal, just straight away is just getting sharked. So we're getting a bit over getting sharked for the time being. So what we'll probably do is out of all the areas we've fished so far today, it was probably the best was probably the first one that we stopped at on the way out, but that might have had everything to do with timing. But I think we'll move out to the deeper water now to the sort of 70 to 100 meter range uh, rather than leave it too late today and not be able to have that opportunity. So we might move out, drop the electric reel down with some baits and do some drifts out in the deeper water. There'll definitely be less structure and things, but hopefully we can find some different fish. So ideally we'd like some red emperor, some gold band. Uh, if we win the lottery, a pearl perch out in the 100 meter range or something would be awesome. So it's our first time out this deep off Karatha and we're trying to make the most of it. And of course the sharks have something to say about it like they always do, so we're just going to do our best to up the ante. That's a rosy jobby, eh? And uh saddle tail. What's it? Is it a gold band? Oi! Oh, I thought I got it off. Heck yeah, baby. <clears throat> yeah! Yes, I marked this spot banging over at 22 knots this morning. And we've just pulled in on the way back home because we're about to wrap it up. We've been dying for a gold band all day and we've just got one. And a saddle. Goldie and a saddle. He got the Goldie! Right, Aiden's got a fish on and I've just caught another long nose emperor here. As much as we don't want these guys, time is slipping away for us today and we actually haven't done that well to get fish past the sharks. So we're in a sort of position where we've got to take what we can get for the moment. So this guy might go away depending on what colour fish he brings up here. Is it yes? Hey! Yes! She's done it! Woohoo! A red emperor, baby! Yes! Not a bad little one either. Happy days. I don't know how that got past that shark. Well, I guess that was only little, but. Yeah, there's a lot of sharks out there, so we'll give you a better look at this one. Woo. Okay, that's our first red emperor of the day. Eden will talk you through it. This is our first red emperor of the day. <laughs> it's our first actually good fish of the day, to be honest with you. Um, the first fish we've managed to get past the sharks, which have been after us all day. So hopefully this is a sign of good things to come. I really want to get back down there and hopefully get another one. All right, so now that Eden's caught that red there, I'm gonna chuck this long nose back. So he gets to live on this one. Give him a bit of a breath. There he goes.
Another bigger one, that one. They are very funky looking fish. Ends on fire. Yeah. Woo! Right, that's changing the day now because we have been sweating it over how hard these sharks have been doing us in today. But to finally start getting a couple of reds past them, I've been untying a rig that whole time that the sharks have been getting me tangled up on. But awesome to see Eden pull that one in. All right, so. I've just pulled up the second red emperor for the day. He's about the same size as the other one, maybe a bit bigger. And this has seriously taken such a weight off our shoulders. Like we've been trying all day to catch something and oh, it just feels good. It feels so good. So the lecky's going down 65 metres. Just the bait rig, this one. Oh yeah, got a bit of kick, that's fish. Yep, keep going. So I think it's Rankin. Well, he won't go back, so we'll have to keep him. Because they do not release. All right, everyone, that's it for this episode. Uh, we have to nail it home now as quick as we can. We've already overstayed our curfew by about an hour now. We're meant to leave at 3 p.m. because it's gonna take us three hours to get back to the boat ramp. Luckily, we've got good conditions. We're still about 130 kilometers offshore at the moment though. So we're gonna steam it. Uh, to summarize today though, today was our first ever time out this wide, full stop. Uh, especially being away from any island formations or anything like that. It was our first time at Glomar Shoals, so we were looking for new ground entirely. Luckily, we ended up coming up with a pretty good bag, but we really had to work for it. Uh, the biggest issue, like anywhere up in the Pilbara, was by far the sharks biting us off on any of the patches where we did find fish. So that played its part and took its toll, uh, but overall it was a good day. Um, we do have to get home though, otherwise we would have stayed out overnight here and then fished again in the morning with the morning sunrise. So that wraps that one up. Uh, I think Eden's pretty happy with everything. You don't have anything to say, do you? No. All right, sweet. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully we can dial this one in in this sort of area out here and we get some good weather again. It's been lovely in Crowther lately, so... We'll get back out here another time and we'll say when we do and we'll see if we can one up what we've done today.